Hello everyone, welcome back for today's video tutorial. I'm gonna have a look over a new sensor that is ABS triple one five, and to get have a better view over this sensor, what we're gonna do is to log in to the website that is controleverything.com, and here we have to search on for this particular sensor, and let's see what we got for this particular sensor. And we got it's a sixteen bit four channel precision analog to digital converter, and you can see. These are some more features which you can add for this particular sensor. Now you can also add to cart. You can purchase this sensor from this website from here. I will be interfacing the sensor ADS triple one five with an Arduino Nano. An Arduino code is required, and to get that code, uh, let's go to resource tab, and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can download the Arduino code sample as a file from here, and also you can get the code from GitHub.com. And the repository there is control everything community. Now, what do we require is to have a look over hardware connections. We need to put up together and let's see what we got up there. Now, in the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano, which you are able to see on my screen. Next, we require an I2C sheet, just like this. Now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that, gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection like that. For the power up function, what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here, the power jack. Now what do we require is our sensor that is ABS. Triple one five, and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable, and make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor. And same rule has to be applied to the I two C sheet. So we are done with all the connections we need. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code, and let's interface. For the interfacing part, the first thing we require is to have a look over the website that is. GitHub.com and here we have to search on for the repository as you can see on my screen it's control everything community after that we have to search on for the sensor that is ADS triple one five and here we go it's analog to digital converter and here comes the Arduino code but before that let's have a look over the Arduino instructions we need to follow and to get the code and it says that we have to download and install the Arduino software on our local machine and this link. Arduino.cc is the link from where we can have our uh, main software as you can see we can download it from here and it runs on Windows, Mac and Linux. You have just have to download it and install it carefully. And after that as you can see we have to download or get pull the code and double click on the file to run the program and after that the last step is to compile and upload the code. And then we can have our output data onto the serial monitor. After following these instructions, we have to get back to the code for a proper explanation. As you can see, it's a .in extension file. And in the code, let me explain you one by one. As you can see, we have included y.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is cox 48 Now in the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with baud rate equal to 9600. Now coming to the writing section part, here we are going to select configuration register having address 0x01 and the command we are going to send here is AINP is equal to AIN0 and AINN that is the negative and positive uh, AI1 uh, and the value for the well voltage count is plus minus 2.048 volt and the command which goes for that is 0x84 and continuous conversion mode 128 SPS, it is 0x83. It's a 16 bit command we are going to send in one configuration register. After sending this command, we are going to read the data back from the sensor. As you can see, we have a void loop function for that, and where we are going to select the data register that is 0x00 from where we are going to read the data back. We are requesting and reading two bytes of the data that is the raw ADC, MSB, and NSB, and after that, we have the conversion of the data and we have some formulas for that which we have deducted from the data sheet of ADS triple one five. At the very end of our code we have the output data onto the serial monitor and it's the digital value of analog 
inputs it is actually the raw value as you can see on my screen now what do we require is to have a look over the working now coming to the working section part and here we have to copy this entire Arduino code as you can notice onto the screen and we have to open up the terminal for the Arduino software and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen and we have to save it ADS triple one five for the reference name and then we have to verify and compile this particular code and then after compilation we have to upload the code the code is being uploaded it's done uploading now we have to check for the output and for that we have to open up the serial monitor and let's open up and we can have the digital value of analog input it's coming exactly as 0, 0.00 because the sensor the has connected to channel 1 and channel 0 and there is nothing connected among these two terminals but instead when I try to connect it with a AA battery of 1.5 source voltage we can have the digital value of analog input and it's coming as you can see almost constant because there is really not a big change it means the battery is connected right now among the terminal 1 and 0 and this how this is how the sensor responds it works now our next motive is to have a look over the benefits features and some of more good features along with some applications the ADS triple one five is a precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution offered and is designed with precision power and ease of implementation in mind the ADS triple one five feature an onboard reference and oscillator data are transferred via an I2C compatible serial interface for I2C slave addresses can be selected due to these prominent features it is uh, useful in a lot of applications like portable instrumentation consumer goods battery monitoring factory automation and process controls and a lot more well you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from control everything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site you can download the code as a zip file also you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor video you can have your queries on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website for articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.